Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the PH Alliance, Prosperity and Health Alliance Monday night webinar. Uh, I'll be your host, Creel Hutchinson. Uh, I want to give uh, big hats off to our good buddy, Wade Lightheart, who's been holding down the fort uh, on most Monday nights, doing a fantastic job um, pre prepping really in advance and bringing some really good quality to the team. Um, I've heard excellent feedback, and obviously the webinar has been great. So um, I'm going to try to fill those shoes this evening with a very hot topic. Um, the topic tonight is going to be Kung and Water, Scam or Real? And we're going to kind of jump into the controversy, because if you've been around this project longer than two minutes, you've probably heard this. And uh, if you haven't, then you'll probably hear it very, very soon. So it's kind of something that we want to just you know, take a look at it and go forward. So um, save your questions to the end and buckle your seats and let's jump into it. Have you ever heard this comment? I heard that alkaline water is a scam because it is bad for digestion or has no benefits to health because the stomach acid is acidic. You can also fill in, I heard that Kungan water is a scam for the same reasons. Or I heard that Kungan water, uh, you can do the exact same thing by adding lemon juice, right? So these are things that kind of come across our, uh, our table and our conversations that really kind of put us almost on the defensive side of needing to then kind of prove what we have, um, which we just want to like start to kind of peel this back. So in this PowerPoint tonight, we're going to just kind of get right into it and, and explain what is Kangen water, what we really have. Is it a scam? Is it not? Is that just fear mongering? You know, let's see. Before I go into it, I want to give a little disclaimer. The statements and information provided on this uh, DVD or this webinar um, have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration or Health Canada. This presentation is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent, or any disease, nor should any subject matter be taken as medical advice. Intended for educational purposes only. Consult a qualified physician and healthcare provider if you've got some major stuff going on, right? This information presented here has not been endorsed by Enagic Co. LTD. What that means is I'm a distributor. I'm an independent person that has decided to join with Enagic. And in that process, over the last seven years, I pursued one of my greatest passions, which is water. I'm super interested in how the human body works. I've studied nutrition, colon hydrotherapy, herbalism, detox. I'm a pretty healthy guy at 40 years old, and I'm really passionate about how the human body works inside of a, a yoga and environmental philosophy. That's what caught my attention seven, seven and a half years ago when I got introduced to this project. So that's Creel. That's who's bringing you the information tonight. I have done my utmost best job to have it be factual and to be um, the clearest information possible. If I've made any mistakes, I apologize in advance. But we're all learning, and I want to kind of take that philosophy into this webinar. It's just like, nothing's perfect. It's about learning. It's about being open, discovering new things. And if I had listened to the first time someone told me that this was a scam, I wouldn't have moved forward. But that's honestly not the type of person I am. I like to learn. I like to discover new things. I'm open. So let's look at what Kangen water is. First off, let's look at what water is, because we all need it. Humans need water. You basically have three sources. So the idea that water is a scam is obviously not correct, right? You have sources that come from natural sources. So example, you've got spring water, comes out of the ground. You've got well water, comes out of the ground. You've got groundwater, which can also be big aquifers, you know, um, coming out of the ground. You've got rainwater, which will collect, you know, in the mountains and run to the ocean, lakes and so forth into streams. And then you have those four things usually end up being put into tap water. So th there are a few other minor places that people can access drinking water, but these are essentially the five areas, right? Now, it is my personal opinion and the opinion of many, many experts that today's drinking water quality from these five places is below average and may be clean, but is actually not healthy for us. And so most healthcare practitioners will recommend that a level of filtration is necessary from taking raw spring water, raw well water, wa water in the environment. Before you put it in your body, you want to clean it. And this just makes sense based on the modern capitalistic world we live in and industrialization. There is a, a lot of chemicals in our environment, and when things go up in a smoke, they eventually come down in rain. So we're really using water as a major filtration process on the planet to deal with chemicals. So 
let's get real, we need to start, we need to filter our water. So then you've got some options. Reverse osmosis, which is essentially um, pressing water through a very tight membrane, which will take out everything. No chemicals, no minerals, nothing. You, you basically have a sterilized, pure form of water which doesn't actually exist in nature, right? And that tends to be quite acidic because there's no minerals in it and water in nature has minerals in it, right? Then you have distilled water, which is an evaporation process creating also very pure water. Distilled and reverse osmosis generally were designed to be used for industrial settings because they don't have the corrosive properties because minerals aren't in them. That's why they're excellent for machinery. Um, they were later adapted into um, drinking water treatments and they've kind of grown around the world. So here's two types of filtration process. Then you have basic filtration, which can be under your counter, you know, you, or you can put water in the top of a container and over a course of, you know, Five minutes to 35 minutes, water comes through the bottom and has gone through a filtration process that has taken usually out the chlorine, might take out some sediment and some other stuff. Um, you can get more advanced filtration processes that will take out your fluorides, your chloramines, um, nitrates, um, even pharmaceuticals at a certain level. So there is advanced stages of filtration. And then you also have ionized water, which is what Congan water is in which will have a basic filtration system, and then you have ionized water, which we'll explain a little bit more. So those are the filtered types of waters. There may be a few outside of this, but this is what most people are going to be um, using and looking at. And from there, you can put these filter types of water into bottled water, right? So, um, and that's a pretty obvious choice. So here's where humans need to make a choice. What type of water are you gonna use? And are you going to filter it and at what level? So we're all in this level of discovery and figuring out how do we get the best water inside our bodies or maybe the most affordable. There's a lot of different elements at play for the average consumer to decide, but we all need water. And we realize the water that we're currently getting raw in nature or through a tap is at a low level and we want to filter it and improve it so that we can have better health effects. I always ask my friends, do you believe the quality of your drinking water affects your health? Yes. So why not explore options that may provide healthier drinking water, which will result in healthier benefits? So let's go forward. Very simple um, definition of ionization. Water goes in through a filter, and in, in an ionized water machines, they'll line up negative, positive, negative, positive uh, plates. They're usually um, pure platinum double dipped in titanium, lined up negative, positive, negative, positive. You plug it into the wall, an electric current comes over the water, and this is called ionization. And it separates the water from going in one stream, and it comes out two streams. One is alkaline, one is acidic. And the chemistry side is OH negative, which is naturally alkalizing, that's called hydroxyl, and H positive, which is acidic. Now, obviously, you've got water molecules on both. It's not 100% accurate, but that's the general chemistry that's happening. So you've got two streams coming out. One's gonna be negatively charged, one's gonna be positively charged. So ionized water is actually an electrical filter. Rather than just being a chemical filter, which is gonna be taking chemicals out, we actually work more on the electrical side which we'll discover can create really unique benefits to the water, right? Here's the three main properties that Kungan water suggests. Number one, it's a massive antioxidant, which is also hydrogen rich in molecular hydrogen, and we'll talk a little bit more about. Number two, it's alkalized, alkalizing benefits to human cells. We'll talk about that, whether that's scam or real. And it's super hydrating, which is also referred to as electrically reduced water, or EWR in more scientific terms. So these are the three things that caught my attention when I was drinking filtered water seven years ago. And please understand, I had been living in a, a wonderful place in the mountains in British Columbia where I was drinking out of creeks by name, four uh, separate creeks over an eight-year period. And I thought that was the best of the best. What I know now is all of that water needed to be filtered because it wasn't clean. And the people that I have known there over the last 10 years that have continued to drink unfiltered raw spring water in probably some of the cleanest in the world have developed a wide range of health issues, including parasites and liver flukes. So I tell that story because it becomes a reality that today's modern world is different than the, the world that our ancestors lived in. So we need to filter water. 
right? And so this is what happens through a Kangen water ionizer. Number one, antioxidants. You cut an apple open, you leave it on the counter. If it goes brown, it's being oxidized, right? So antioxidants are the number one selling healthcare product in the world. Why? Because they slow down the aging process, right? They combat free radical damage, which is really just a very much a part of life. Anything living is going through this state of oxidation. So eating blueberries, goji berries, superfoods, all this stuff, healthy salads, all bring antioxidants to life. But when I was introduced to this, I was amazed because I had never considered water to be an antioxidant. The reality is most drinking water that people are having don't have any antioxidants in them. Kangen water does, right? So how do we measure that? It's through an ORP scale, oxidation reduction potential, right? Sometimes it's easier to understand reading it backwards. Potential to reduce oxidation. So if it's a positive score, it's going to be increasing oxidation. If it's a negative score, it's going to be decreasing oxidation, which will be good for us. That means there's going to be antioxidants in it. So this is the one, you know, one of those times that usually our mind thinks if it's something is negative, it's bad for us, and something positive is good for us. But we've switched that here. So Kangen water when you get it fresh out of the machine, can go from anywhere from negative 200 all the way up to negative 800, depending on the source water. This is really important, just like side note. The source water, where the water comes from, is always going to affect the quality of the water that you're drinking through whatever filtration process you decide to go with, right? including Kangen water ionizers. Through this unique process, there are certain properties that jump out. Ionized water has a hexagonal shape that carries an abundance of hydroxyl ions, OH negative. It provides extra electrons that neutralize destructive free radicals circulating throughout the body. Hexagonal ionized water carries a high negative ORP, oxidation reduction potential, when it is first produced, making it a potent antioxidant. This is from Dr. Mu Sig John. Right? The Japanese have been studying water with the Russians going back 40, 50 years. Right? They're well advanced to where we are in the Western world. We've studied a lot more on the chemistry side of nutrition, but water has been a very interesting discovery and topic for the Japanese, which really focus on preventative medicines first rather than um, symptom treating um, prescriptions and pharmaceuticals and so forth. So two different philosophies when it comes to their medical system. So they've been studying different things for the last 30, 40, 50 years. This, from a doctor's point of view, suggests that, hey, there's a lot of antioxidants in water, which is super cool because when you drink water, there's no metabolization necessary. So you're literally, whatever you drink, you're able to absorb and use effectively right away because it doesn't have to metabolize, meaning you don't have to digest it. And most humans, 80% on the planet, are having some kind of minor to severe compromised digestive system issue. So we're really not that good at choosing the right things, eating, absorbing it, digesting it, chewing it properly, all that stuff to be able to extract it. Whereas with water, you got lots of antioxidants and you just drink them and they come in. So that caught my attention seven years ago. What also caught my attention was there is a certain type of hydrogen that is created in this unique ionization process. So our water is referred to as hydrogen-rich antioxidant water. When you Google Kangen water as your keyword, you will be led to the brand name and not credible scientific research, which can throw a person who's you know, checking this out off. Right? You get promotional marketing material rather than real science. If you're interested in doing real research, you want to go to www.popmed.com, pubmed.com. And access about 300 plus studies that's been growing. Um, and the key words to research are molecular hydrogen, which is H2, uh, electrolyzed water, active hydrogen, uh, hydroxyl ions, and free radical scavengers. And you're going to start to unravel and do actually real research that you will see that Kangen water is not a scam. This stuff is all starting to make sense when you go below the surface level. And we'll talk about why people get caught up on that level a little later on. But the hydrogen-rich water is the number one reason, the negative ions in the hydrogen-rich water, the antioxidant value of the water, is the reason that people are choosing Kangen water. We're going to talk about alkalinity later. But be really clear, this is why our water is so effective, right? H2, a super antioxidant that has selective properties. Here's a note. 
the immune system of the human body uh, needs a certain amount of free radical damage in order to stimulate growth and responsiveness. So if you were to have uh, people ask the question, you know, I've heard it's not good to have too many antioxidants. Well, it's true. It's almost virtually impossible to make that happen because of our exposure to chemicals in today's world and stress levels. But with antioxidants from hydrogen rich water, you don't really have that concern because the antioxidant, the hydrogen is showing consciousness because of its selective properties in only wanting to uh, neutralize certain free radical damages, which is going to be detrimental to the overall body, not beneficial to the immune system response. This is super key. So in laboratory testing, they're starting to see that this molecular hydrogen is showing a uh, intelligence built into it. What a wonderful area of science and uh, further discovery that we really should be pursuing because this could probably lead to some major breakthroughs, right? Um, the Molecular Hydrogen um, Institute um, also has a great uh, page with all the studies linked to molecular hydrogen. I think it's a great resource and it starts to show you why Kangen water and we could say ionized water, we'll explain the difference between ionized and common water later, um, does have these beneficial properties, right? Still connected to the antioxidant side, I found this, which really caught my attention a number of years ago as well. Chronic diseases associated to low voltage in the body. And this is by Dr. Jerry Tennant. He's an MD. He wrote a great book, PH and Voltage, Healing is Voltage. So consider water to be hydroelectric energy which we're electrical beings living in an electrical universe, humans, right? And we're designed to run on electricity. We get that when we eat fresh fruits and vegetables because we pull it out of the ground and it has a negative charge to it. The earth is a negatively charged planet. So when you walk around barefoot on the planet, you're absorbing these negative ions through the soles of our feet and you're getting this grounding energy. There's some amazing books right now on the idea of this grounding technology, bed sheets and different soles and everything you can put into your shoes that will have this grounding effect. Well, it's the negative charge, right? So does your water have a living negative charge, which means antioxidants, or a dead positive charge, which is free radicals? Antioxidants are negatively charged. Free radicals are positively charged. It's very easy to separate these two things. So Dr. Jerry Tennant suggests that the water, because it's negatively charged, has electrical light force. So when you're drinking your water, you're drinking energy. And this energy starts to feed your cellular vitality. And Dr. Jerry Tennant suggests that because people are running out of cellular energy, they're starting to have chronic disease issues and compromised things arise. Fascinating. So by drinking water that is negatively charged, you're literally drinking electrical life force. You've got antioxidants, but you have electricity in here. So if you want more energy, drink more water. That, to me, those three pieces, negative ions, molecular hydrogen, and the voltage side, separates this technology from all other filtration processes because of the electrical charge coming through it. Now, some people might say, well, it's not natural because you plug it into a machine and it comes through a machine with electricity. Well, the Earth is running on electricity and it comes from lightning strikes. So we're just taking what we're seeing in nature and mimicking that with the advances of technology and allowing the lightning strike to strike over the water in, an, in a confined and you know, well-designed technology that we have access to. So the same thing happens when you, lightning hits lakes, it hits uh, the earth in different places, creeks and so forth, you will have ionized water which will have these properties. So we're just able to bring that into the comfort of our own home. So moving along, there's antioxidants, kind of three aspects to it. We're gonna talk about the alkali side, right? Um, getting back to the whole scam question, a lot of people suggest that, hey, you can, um, you know, getting too alkaline is bad for you and so forth, and we're going to cover that. So here's how it works. Zero to 14. Below seven is acidic, above seven is alkaline. We're designed to eat and drink about 80% alkaline, 20% acidic, right? We switch this in the modern world. Doctors are not dealing with people that are too alkaline. 99.98% of people are, are 0.9% of people will be too acidic. That's the, what doctors are dealing with. So our blood, which is in the middle of this, is at 7.365. 
slight range from 7.34 to 7.45. So we're slightly alkaline creatures by nature because the blood overrides you know, our whole system. We have some acidic organs, we have some alkaline organs, but the blood is really in the center, right? So that's a very brief overview of a very um, in-depth topic. Alkaline versus alkalize, right? Alkaline is chemically created. Organic or inorganic minerals, chemicals, are added to water to alter pH. So if I had a neutral water and I added something into it to make it move from seven to nine, this is alkaline water by chemistry definition, right? I've altered it using chemicals, right? Alkalized water is electrically created through ionization, right? Water goes in, nothing gets added to it, but two separate streams come out. One's acidic, one is alkaline. Right? One is full of H positive, one is OH negative. Here's the real key understanding. pH, we talk about it all the time. People refer to it as like alkaline, acidic, and pH. Most people don't understand what pH stands for. pH stands for potential hydrogen. So there's two ways to affect uh, pH levels. One, by increasing the amount of minerals or decreasing the amount of minerals or increasing the amount of hydrogen or decreasing the amount of hydrogen. So one is chemically created, one is uh, electrically created. This is the major difference between a lot of alkaline waters on the marketplace and Kangen water. Kangen water has more hydrogen. Remember what we just talked about? The hydrogen rich water, right? The super antioxidant that it is exploring, you know, selective properties. We, the water we're drinking has way more hydrogen. The hydrogen is naturally alkalizing. So guess what? We're drinking alkaline water, alkalized water as a side effect, not the main reason, right? Very important. Alkaline water comes in tons of bottled water, Vortex 9.5, chemically created alkaline water, right? Or remineralized water filtration systems. You know, you'll get to see, um, which I had a system for years, it was called Santiva, and it sat, you pour water in the top, it went through all these rocks and different things, filtering it, adding minerals in, and then it would come out and it was more alkaline, right? This is starting to remineralize the water. A lot of reverse osmosis or distilled water will also go through this part. Something is added to pH buffer, so bring the water back up to alkaline. Chemically created alkaline. Alkaline water usually consists of cheap minerals. You have calcium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, baking uh, potassium carbonate, and in general, it'll be like mineral salts, right? So there is huge discrepancy in the natural health arena whether these minerals are actually even bioavailable to the body. When water goes through the natural hydrological cycle in nature, it's running over hundreds of miles, kilometers of streams, rocks, creeks, um, and these minerals, which can be large, break down to super tiny sizes, right? So they pass through most filters, right? So in, in Kangen water, through our ionization process, we, the, the minerals are not changing. You're still getting the minerals that are there. But in other remineralizers, they're adding these things in, which are much larger molecules, which tend not to be able to be absorbed easily by the body, if at all. Right? Most healthcare practitioners, in my experience, are unfamiliar with this, and the internet propagates misinformation plus fear usually associated with marketing agendas. Right? There's a huge difference of how the body metabolizes alkaline chemically created water and alkalized electrically created water, i.e. Kangen water. Right? So the fear becomes, or oh, you're going to get too alkaline. Well, let's talk about that. Right? Alkaline properties. There are two main pH systems in the human body the blood system, and the cellular system. You have also the different pH systems of different organs, but in general, these are the two main ones. We've already mentioned the blood is in the range from 7.35 to 7.45. You slip out of this range, you die, right? So the body is always working on uh, pH buffering itself, keeping itself alkaline. So we do not affect this. The body is always working at this. What we do is we support the body to do this so that it's less stressful on the body to be accomplishing this um, result. So how do we do this? Alkaline water is chemically created can have a bad effect on pH. Why? Because the, the minerals are not being absorbed by the body. They start to alter the blood. 
right? So over long-term use of this, you can start to have health issues arise calcification, you know, too much calcium, hard water, when you're drinking too much hard water, that can lead to um, too much calcium in the system, which has different health issues that arise, right? Alkalized water does not have this effect, but rather influences cellular pH of the body, which is well-documented health benefits. So Dr. Otto Wahlberg uh, won a Nobel Peace Prize in the 1930s, suggesting or proving that cancer couldn't survive in an acidic cell environment. What does that mean? We don't change the blood, but we change the cellular environment. We allow it to become more alkaline. Alkalinity in general means health, right? Acidity, you're opening up the environment for disease to occur. So doctors are dealing with 99.9899%, um, too much acidity, right? So the idea of becoming too alkaline, yeah, it's possible. But the reality is it's virtually impossible to do it unless you were like almost making that your goal and you were doing extreme dieting and um, lifestyle choices for six to 12 months. And the people that I know, which just don't do it, right? It's just like, we're not, these are not the potential people who are looking at this product. These are not the water drinkers. This is like extreme individuals can produce two alkaline experiences in their body. So the average person does not need to worry about this. Right? But the average person can be fooled by how do I get alkaline, chemically created versus alkalized created. Most people don't know the same level of conversation that we're having right now, so they're reaching towards this kind of stuff. Or pens that they put in their water, shake it around, and five minutes later their water is alkaline. Well, nothing came out of the water, so you added something to the water. That's where the issue starts to arise, and that's what's you know, concerning to health practitioners because they're finding people that are drinking alkaline water, right? And so the whole group has been mixed into alkaline water is bad for you or it's a scam, right? It has no health benefits. It's actually doing damage because people don't understand the difference between how it is created, right? Education is powerful, right? Have you heard? I heard that alkaline water is a scam because you can add lemon juice and it does the exact same thing. Okay. Sure, you can add lemon juice to water and you will have natural alkalizing benefits, but it does not have any of the other benefits, which is the main reason to drink Kangen water. You add tap water, you got tap water or bottled water and you add lemon juice to it, sure, it's going to be alkalizing a little bit, but you've changed it because now the body thinks it's drinking, eating lemon, so there's, it's metabolizing that. So it's going through a metabolic activity versus drinking water, which is alkalize, which is hydrogen, it's just absorbing that, it's being able to use it very quickly by the body versus having to do this whole metabolization process. And if you just add, you know, lemon juice to water, you're not getting the antioxidants, you're not getting the negative charge, you're not getting molecular hydrogen, you're not getting all the true benefits of Kangen water, so to suggest it's the same thing is just not accurate. It has one of the slight benefits, so it's like 10% of the overall puzzle. Right, and that you know, not much more to be said with that. I love adding lemon juice into my water. It's cooling, it's refreshing, and so forth. But it does not replace alkalized water, Kangen water. Right? Have you heard this? I've heard that alkaline water is a scam because it is bad for digestion or has no benefits to health because the stomach is so acidic. A huge um, confusion that exists here. So let's talk about what happens when you eat something and when you drink something. The human body is a design, is a miracle of design, right? It, it has an intellectual intelligence that we will never grasp probably. It's beyond our scope. The human body has two different things that happen when you start eating and when you start drinking. When you start eating, which means chewing, you start to excrete digestive enzymes in the mouth and through the whole system, right? So. When that happens, the body starts to produce hydrochloric acid in the stomach and starts to put that in so that it can help break down the food. So our stomach is not always at 1.2 or 1.1 where hydrochloric acid is. It settles more in around 2.5 to 3 in that range of the stomach, like on its natural sitting. Hydrochloric acid comes in after you start chewing. So the body is not always that low. So when you start chewing, that's hydrochloric acid comes in and it goes through this metabolic activity. Difference happens when you drink water 
by itself and it goes through the system. No digestive enzymes are happening, so the body is just like, hey, I don't need to metabolize this. I can do it in a completely different function. So this is where the aspect of superhydrating comes in. Water molecules are reduced during electrolysis. Congan water contains OH negative, also known as hydroxyl, which naturally makes it alkaline. Right? The floric sphincter valve, which is at the bottom of the stomach, is a pH-sensitive valve. Right? Drinking conga water on an empty stomach, the valve opens, allowing water to quickly pass into the small intestine. Well, this is brilliant. So the body is suggesting to us, because mostly if you're living in nature, you'd be drinking alkaline water because that's the way it comes out of streams and wells and you know these places, um, it's naturally alkaline. It will be like above 7, but it will be closer to like the 8, the 8.5, so it's alkaline. So it's almost suggesting that our we have evolved drinking alkaline water in nature, and our body identifies that. So rather than holding it in the stomach and getting bloated, it opens the valve and the water flushes into the small intestines, helping to increase absorbability throughout the whole body. So that's why people can drink a lot of Congan water and not feel bloated. If you're drinking acidic water, which is tap water, bottled water, distilled water, reverse osmosis water, pretty much even Congan water that's been sitting around for like two weeks, probably acidic because the hydrogen's gone. So there's a lot of acid water out in the world. If you're drinking that, it's going to get stuck in the stomach and you're going to feel bloated. It's not going to deliver the same penetrating cellular hydration effect, mm. right? Cellular hydration. The osmotic Osmotic pressure inside of the interior of the cell is different than outside when you're drinking Congo water, which is a negative charge. Thus, when the heart is pumping, that's when the cell opens and closes, opens and closes. So this is when water will penetrate in and out. Because the osmotic pressure is different inside to the outside negatively charged Congo water, it wants to rapidly pull the water into the cell. And when it pumps and then it pushes, the toxins out. So you start to have, when people start to drink water, and we've experienced this over and over again, people will have detoxing reaction because they're literally at a cellular level pulling this water into the cell and then pushing out the toxins, right? Versus positively charged does not have this effect. It's actually repelled from the charge. So it kind of gets stuck on the outside. This was also uh, well explored in the aquaporin theory, which Emmanuel and Nobel Peace Prize um, about 10 years ago, suggesting that there is actually a, a mathematical equation or door cell, and we're going to talk a little bit about structured water, where this water will come in and out. And if you're, the water doesn't have the same um, structure, it doesn't do the same. But that's a secondary conversation. This is purely talking about the negative charge of the water versus the positive charge. So acidic water, and people are drinking positively charged water, so it's not wanting to penetrate cellularly, right? Congan water hydrates faster and this helps detoxify the body. Does this through the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is, I believe, three times larger than the blood system. So we're really designed to be, you know, the body is focusing on how to get rid of toxins. So in a preventative health mindset, you want to try to not put toxins in, but you also want to support the toxins that have come in from the environment. You want to be effective at getting rid of them. That's prevention. Right? Preventing it to come in and then dealing effectively with what's come in. So here's how the human body works with the lymphatic system. It works like a water slide. Right? So 90% of people in North America and Europe, according to recent studies in the last five years, suggest people are dehydrated. And doctors are talking about this all the time and you can find a lot of, ton of information on the internet. So people are dehydrated, meaning there's not enough water in their cellular form so what happens to the lymphatic system isn't operating effectively. Thus, toxins aren't leaving the body. They're staying inside the body. Well, that starts to lead to disharmony and disease. So when you start to hydrate, all of a sudden you turn on the water slide. Think of your lymphatic system like a big water slide. Now you've loaded up the system with water, and it starts to flush it out. That can be an amazing experience in the first 30 days of drinking this water, but the benefits long term, you know, the longer you drink ionized um, alkalines, water, Congo water systems, you're going to get all these benefits over and over and over again. So the um, detoxification happens on a daily level, right? Now we introduce the idea of restructured water, which can go in a number of different ways. 
Um, but there's some incredible books out there of really interesting people that have done a lot of research. So the fourth phase of water, beyond solid, liquid, and vapor, water codes. Here's a book that I thought was, um, I read and I really enjoyed, The Water Puzzle and the Hexagonal Key. Right, so summarizes 40 years of scientific research documenting the structural qualities of water. The author presents scientific evidence showing that hexagonal structure of water is preferred by biological organisms and that it is involved in the healthy function of DNA, enzyme reactions, and numerous metabolic functions. Hexagonal being six-sided versus most water, five-sided, right? In nature, it'll be hexagonal, but then as chemicals are added, um, and that can be like, you know, chemtrails settling in the environment into the groundwater, there, there's stuff that gets bonded to this, so it pulls the hexagonal shape out, so most stuff is being five-sided. It's not penetrating the aquaporins of the cell tissues the same way, whereas they have found hexagonal water, which will be when glaciers melt or water freezes and it melts, it's in a perfect hexagonal shape, also snowflakes also when there's lightning. So it seems to be freezing and lightning helps to create hexagonal shaped water and also very large restructuring, um, vortexing water kind of ideas. There was a, um, Schalberg is a German uh, researcher explorer that uh, spent his career researching this stuff. There's some great stuff out there. I have found that that's accurate, but there's also a lot of hoax um, about smaller devices being able to do it. I've only really seen it be very effective with very large kind of industrial vortex machines to really produce hexagonal water. But the cool thing is, because we have a common water ionizer, the water goes through and then it comes out hexagonal. And you can go quite deep in this topic. For me personally, it's not a place I want to explore or try to prove whether common water is a scam or not, because the science here, I think, needs to catch up. So in particular, there's a great movie called Water the Great Mystery. There's a whole bunch of water researchers, and, and it's a really fun documentary on learning about water. I Google it to check it out. In there, they suggest the structure of your water is more important than the chemical compound. Chemical compound of water being H2O. The structure being six-sided, five-sided, they're suggesting that that structure is going to influence your health more than the water where it came from, right? Which would then suggest that the six-sided would be more effective. Now, Masio Emoto spent his career, he passed away last year, but his kind of legacy was um, suggesting that water was a living entity and it would be influenced by environmental forces and that it could actually those forces could influence the structure of the water. So frozen, so we've got pictures of frozen water influenced by environmental circumstances and intentions. Right. So we've got, you know, beautiful snowflakes versus messy, contorted, um, structured water. What it all comes down to is like, hey, it seems to be there is a large information um, that proves that restructured hexagonal water is beneficial and that there needs to be a lot more research done on it. But at this point, it seems to definitely improve the hydrating effects of a cellular tissue and thus not really seeming like a scam at all, but actually a really interesting idea. And the best thing to do is try it. And what I've noticed is I can just drink way more of this water because I don't get bloated. Now that could be because it's alkalized and the negative charge, which I've already talked about, but maybe there's also a, at play some of this restructuring water side to it. You know, you ever felt bloated? Yeah, you know, before I got Kangen water and so, Dehydration, the silent killer, 90% of people are dehydrated, leading cause of health issues, cause of inflammation, hormone issues, and fatigue. It's the number one recommendation recommendations by doctors, drink more water. The idea is you're not sick, you're thirsty. Now, at its very, at the foundational level, if you had a Kanga water machine and you were just able to drink more water as a result of it, then it would be beneficial. So I don't think calling this technology a scam in any way makes sense if a person is literally able to drink more water, which is being told by our doctors. That would actually be a positive thing to that person's health and anyone else's, right? And you can put different waters down and 
people are, are pretty consistent saying this water is just way easier to drink. So even if all the other properties we talked about and all the research there didn't exist, for the simple fact that you could absorb, you could drink more of this water, would I'd give this technology a thumbs up. Water is crucial to the anti-aging. At birth, we're alkaline and hydrated, about 90% water. As adults, we're becoming acidic and dehydrated, 75% water. The seniors were chronically acidic, chronically dehydrated, at 55% water. So here's the reality, everybody. You showed up to the planet like a big plump grape, and at 75 to 80 years old, you become a raisin, right? 90% of people are dehydrated. What we need to do is drink way more water, right? And if people start to drink water and they don't like the taste because of the chemicals, the tap, they feel bloated, they are less likely to drink the water. So what's the solution? Get filtration water. Or if you move through that process and you find common water, you're able to absorb way more of it. So clearly that's going to have long-term health benefits. You know, stay a raisin, as, uh, you know, stay away from being a raisin and become a grape as long as you can, <laughs> the motto. So here's a review of the three main properties. Massive antioxidant, and that's hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, um, the negative charge, right, the energy in the water. Number two, it's alkalized, and we are able to influence the cellular uh, pH levels of the body, not the blood. So it's very different than alkaline, chemically created water. And the third property is it's super hydrating. So you can find some great information on PubMed on electrically reduced water, EWR water, and studies on it. So. When I was looking at this, there's just way too much evidence suggesting that there's something really cool happening with this technology. So for me, the idea that it could possibly be a scam, I'm not, it's, it seems illogical. So let's go a little bit deeper into that. Here's what doctors are saying about Kangen water. And at this point, I'm going to pull up this document. And give me one moment, you guys. So here's just some doctors that have suggest that they think Kangen water is a pretty good idea. No doubt the, the people that I'm going to mention here are able to do way more research than the average person on the internet and me because I'm not a doctor, right? I'm not uh, at these level of professionals. So I tend to trust professional opinions um, to support what my intuition and my personal experience and what I've learned over the years is. So here's Dr. Hron Yoshinya, the inventor of the colonoscopy, probably the top colon expert in the world. He thinks it's a very good idea, right? He doesn't even treat you unless you drink a gallon of Kangen water a day. Dr. Hortzfeld's the first man to put the stint inside the heart. Um, he's on the medical advisory board for um, Enagic. He thinks it's a great idea. Dr. Corina Allen, amazing work when it comes to hydration in the brain, and she works with children with autism and learning difficulties. She has a ton of well-documented information and studies to support her support of this. Dr. Dave Carpenter, um, Dr. Oliver Wahlberg, I, I mentioned earlier. I want to go through, here's like a list of more doctors, and it's highlighted these areas where, you know, they suggest it's really good. Dr. Ray Kurzweil. I really like this guy because I'm into kind of um, crazy scientists. Uh, Ray is all about living longer. He is devoted. He's a, a he, he's worked for Google as one of their top researchers. He's worked for NASA at different times, and he looked at Congo Water and he has this great Q and A um, um, question and answer PDF that someone created, and he kind of walks you through it and just like basically if Ray was going to drink the water. I think it's good enough for me because that guy does way more research than other people. And he understands it at a super deep chemistry, electrical consciousness level, right? So um, other Japanese researchers that have endorsed it, um, then you get into the um, kind of naturopaths, Wade Lightheart, you get into the nutritional field. You know, let, let's face it, that today's pro athletes are not drinking bottled water. They're drinking Kangen water. And those guys have huge budgets for their top nutritional consultants to do the research to find them the best of the best, right? So, um, and then it kind of goes on. I want to also mention this one quote, right? So Dr. Uh, Brishanhan, um, who is uh, arguably the best 
in his field and has served as um, on-call cardiologist for Presidents of the United States, the Pope, the Queen of England, and many visiting uh, dignitaries in the Los Angeles area. So he's a cardiologist, a heart doctor. And here's um, a quote by him. We have understood the importance of alkalizing diets for decades, but we have been unsuccessful in getting our patients to eat a preferably alkaline diet because we cannot eat enough alkaline foods to keep our body alkaline. To have something that changes the pH of the body from acid to alkaline based on something we are already doing that is drinking water, we can get people alkaline very easily. Hundreds of thousands of our patients have remarkable results from drinking Kungan medical grade drinking water. We are doing our part in bringing this technology to the medical community in the United States because Kungan water is revolutionizing health, fitness, and wellness of our nation. This is going to be a great thing for everyone and will change the lives of millions of people. That's a personal quote from that MD who's a, one of the top cardiologists in North America. I'm probably going to trust this guy. He and all the presidents are drinking Kungan water, all the dignitaries areas. Like, there is so much research to point to this working that, you know what, it's, it's starting to feel like it's probably a good idea. But let's go a little bit deeper in this topic, right? Before I go there, so based on everything I've seen so far, there is, seems to be quite a bit of research pointing in the direction that this is actually good when compared to when pe I ask people, you know, like, what kind of water are you drinking? Drinking tap water. I don't see any medical studies and reports by, I live in Vancouver, by the city of Vancouver showing us that the water quality that we're getting is doing all of these things, right? And yet we just kind of take that for granted. And yet people want to come along and suggest, hey, where's the research on this? Like, prove that it works. Well, first off, it's water, so it works. Right? But there is so much information in this field of study pointing on this that Fiji doesn't provide their customers with scientific information. Vortex 9.5 doesn't do the same. And yet, in our field, people are wanting massive amounts of information on this to make sure it's safe long term. And yet, if they were to look at the endorsements and the research, it is more studied and researched than most water that people are consuming without even thinking twice about, right? Plus, with the push of the button, you can also make a medical grade disinfectant which will kill 99% of known bacteria, which is fantastic. And it's very good at treating acne, eczema, psoriasis, and skin conditions effectively when you use correctly. And you can make 11.5 water, which degreases and removes stains. You get, it removes laundry detergents, and most effectively, it can remove oil-based pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides from our fresh fruits and vegetables, removing acidic chemicals and allowing us to actually eat our food and absorb a much higher nutritional value. So Kungan water on its own would have been beneficial for me and my lifestyle choices for the 2.5 and 11.5 alone. But you get that as a bonus to the 8.59 and 9.5 drinking water and the three benefits that we've talked about. So I think the value to the potential customer when they start to look at it is like, wow, and you make a one-time purchase and you have the system for 20 to 25 years, well, this is starting to make a lot of sense. You know, it doesn't sound scammy at all. Humans need water. You, and we have options from where you get the source water from and if you decide to filter it and what type of bottle you buy. So we're all using water. Right, so Kangen water, obviously that's not a scam. It's not the water part because we're all using it. So it's just another option for people. Kangen water offers people a real option that has excellent documented research supporting it compared to other bottled water sources. You know, tap water, which I talked about. You know, so it's, you know, in my personal opinion, I feel more comfortable with the information and the research that I've looked at regarding Kangen water than other stuff because it's just not available for other things. Do you realize that 85% of the municipalities in Canada failed the water quality reports across Canada um, in the last few years? And those water quality reports are about 30 years old documentation. That was found in the CBC. They did a big print up about it. So like water quality is not going up, it's going down. And so we want to, you know, the idea that drinking tap water is a better idea 
than Kangen water, I just don't understand it. You know, the research definitely points in opposite directions. Scam or not, it's water. We all need it. So the emotional charge that somehow Kangen water is not going to be good for us, I just don't understand it. It's water. We just need to relax and just be reminded, hey, it's water, everybody. Doesn't work. Well, we've got 40 years of experience and we know, you know, the company sold about a million machines in, you know, probably about 80 different countries and people are having awesome results. So if we didn't work, we know that by now. I ask people, what kind of water are you drinking currently? Tap water, bottled water, filtered water. I'm like, great. Can I see the documented scientific evidence that that's going to be benef more beneficial than my water for you? Or, you know, why don't you add Ask the same people that you're drinking this water, do you ask them the same level of conversation or questions? So I try to make it into more of a logical conversation because the scam or not scam, when you really get down to it, it's not a logical conversation. It becomes an emotional conversation. And we're going to talk about why it's emotional versus logical. So I've given you a lot of logical information, building the case of why this would be a good thing. So. Let's move on to maybe what, what people's real problem with is not the product, it might be the business model. The MLM scam, right? It just gives people another option of how companies do business. Me as a consumer, I like options, right? MLM is thriving for a number of reasons and will continue for the next 20, 25 years, right? My personal preference is where people, it's a personal preference where people want to spend money. Right, so here, my personal experience and what many others will relate to is that buying products from MLM companies, you get great education, you get great customer care, the products are specialized products and they're really uh, focused on creating a brand identity, so it's important to them, they're not you know, coming and going. Plus the money goes to support average people, not large corporate structures. Some of those average people actually might be your friends and family and people that you like why not support them rather than walking into Walmart or Costco or some other big box store where you could buy a case of Dasani water, you know, for super cheap and point the finger at someone else being a scam where, where you're doing that. It's like we vote with our money all the time. And when you look at what MLM has to offer people, it allows people to run home businesses and allows people to have an ability to access um, income that usually just goes to typical corporations in, in, in the modern or, or the typical business sense. So it's a, a distortionary, you know, technology. It's a distracting technology, a distracting model because it's moving away from the powers that be and how things have been done. And a lot of people have resistance to change. The business model should not affect the quality of the product. They're separate topics. Kangen water is not a scam. The water works. We've got great information. Maybe people just have a problem with the MLM model, right? Here is what is happening. The NFL, this is a couple years old statistics, but I'll give you a good understanding that NFL pulled in $9.5 billion. The music industry, $16.5 billion. Organic products, which is massive, $91 billion. The movie industry, $80 billion. Video gaming, $67 billion. And network marketing is at $170 $167 billion. Is that a lot of people just being taken advantage of and getting ripped off? No. It's a lot of satisfied customers that are choosing to spend month after month, year after year, investing in products and services that they deem valuable for their own personal life. That is not a scam. That is a personal option. I think it's great, right? Kung and water scam. The other side, the, the option is you know, because you'll see this on the internet that Kung Water is a scam and then someone turns around and tries to sell you their, their ionizer. I think at this point in this presentation, there's a pretty good case that the product itself, ionized water, not the brand name, just ionized water, there's a really great case for it that it's, it's worth trying out and that it's definitely not going to be bad for you, but actually probably going to be pretty good and you get to try it for free, so you might as well try it for free for 30 days and try, you know, see how that results, you know, results vary, but people seem to like it. So let's talk then about how Kangen Water Scam could be more in a competitive ionizer field. Personal feeling is competition is healthy for the overall market, right? 
for example, in the car industry, you have a high, um, there's lots of different brands, but you have a high level of education. People know what cars do, what they look at. We've been sold them for years, right? So when you, when someone says, hey, my Honda is the exact same as that Porsche over there, you kind of look at them being like, no, it's not. I know the difference because I've sat in these cars. I've driven these cars. I, I know the price tag. So the level of education is much higher. So you can't pull um, fear or an emotional argument trying to convince someone that they're going to get ripped off by buying the Porsche because the Honda has the exact same thing. So water ionizers, low level of understanding and low level of education. You know, especially with all the health concerns, people just get scared. Oh, I don't want to try it. It's, I've heard it's bad. You know, and I think we've handled some of those in our health part of this presentation. So here's the things you want to look for when you're, if you decide, hey, I want to get one of these water ionizers, and you know, there's a whole bunch of brands, and there are a whole different prices. You know, what you should look for. This is what kind of makes them stand apart: the size and the composition of the plates, the power supply auto cleaning versus manual cleaning ability, warranty and manufacturing. Plates, uh, in Agic, uh, the SD501, we have the largest plates in the industry. They're medical grade uh, titanium, um, double dipped in medical grade platinum. It's kind of a big deal. We have ours as a medical certificate so we can prove all that. And I would say 90% of all other ionizers are gonna use mesh or slotted plate technology, which is different. Right, so it's different. So you gotta kind of research it. It's probably not gonna do the same because it looks different. So it's kind of like you're switching the engine, you're making a different thing. So it's not gonna run the same. It's gonna have a different result. Also power supply. We use a transformer, which is actually, it's a hybrid transformer switch mode power supply. It does both, uh, which is really unique. Um, and so we can get up to 230 watts. Essentially, you want a solid, direct power supply. Transformers are able to do that because when you're making ionized water, the moment you turn it on to the moment you turn it off, let's say there's three minutes there. It's making stabilized ionized water through that whole process, not fluctuating where power mode, a uh, switch mode power supply can do, right? And I'm not gonna get too deep into this, but this is just topics worth exploring more. You know, the warranty, we have a five-year warranty. It covers absolutely everything. We have service centers all over the planet. The company now has 30 offices in 20 different countries. So you literally can walk in and get service from people that know our brand and that will specialize in answering questions there. Whereas uh, their companies, it's mostly internet-based because people like to shop on the internet and they'll drive Kangen Water traffic, our, our marketing, you know, and our clients into their um, sales funnel, um, usually based on fear, right? Ours is a medical device versus a kitchen appliance, right? At the end of the day, I just wanted to buy something that I knew was the best. I don't like spending more for the best. And with all the documentation and everything I saw, I was just like, this is the best one versus a kitchen appliance. You don't save a lot of money when you have to buy the same thing twice or three times over a 20 to 30 year period, 20 to 25 years. So for me, it was a no-brainer. I'm like, just go with the best, right? In Magic, 42-year-old um, um, privately held company where original equipment manufacturer people are buying directly from them. Stock of Japan, 30 offices, 20 different countries. Pretty good track record. International Standards Organization, we have an ISO medical grade certificate, 13485. No one else has it. So. Other systems have not gone through the same testing to be able to say our machine does the exact same as their machine because they haven't proven it, right? Water Quality Association Gold Seal of North America, that took us five years to get through their independent studies. No one else has that. AAA rating with the Better Business Bureau. You know, at the end of the day, being consumer, there might be, you know, there might be a better, Kungen, a better water ionizer out there than Kungan Water. There might be. But the brand reputation, the research, the support, the training, the follow-up, all of that stuff, my personal experience, uh, all the people I've given it to, I'm like, why risk it? Just go with the best, right? You probably won't regret buying something that is the best, you know? You'll pay a little bit more for it. It's worth it. You know why? Because it's your health. And that's what I tell people. You know what's expensive? Getting sick. Staying healthy is, is easy, right? It costs more money up front, but it's way more fun, right? So those are the five areas. Um, 
auto clean versus manual clean, because we can actually take our filter out and do an e-cleaning process, um, this allows us to prove our system doesn't run on minerals being added, but it actually runs on true ionization, which is uh, hydrogen being created um, because there's no minerals in our filter because we can put an empty cartridge in. But this also allows us to do the knee cleaning process because the thing that will affect the quality of these systems long term is the calcium bonding to the plates inside, creating um, erosion of the plates. So you want to clean your system. Everybody, you got to clean your system more, right? That To get the best results, clean it regularly, every two weeks. You know, it'll keep the ORP high, but it'll keep the hydrogen level really high. A Congan water system that isn't, hasn't been cleaned for years, it's not the same. You know, it starts to slide into the category of other water ionizers, in my opinion. Right? Clean the system, have them really up sharp. You've invested in it, make it the best. And then, Kangen water, scam or not? You decide. The product, I think it checks out pretty good. It's water. And this water has been researched and studied and a bunch of doctors think it's great and people are having awesome results with it. The technology, we've ex kind of explored the different, you know, between different other water ionizers and stuff. And when you look at the certifications that our program has, that our company has, and magic seems to be the king, right? The science. Do your own research, PubMed.com. Come to your own personal um, explorations in this. Number four, testimonials. We have a raving fan base. So much so that fans, customers, become distributors because they're having great results and they tell other people and all of a sudden the people don't believe them anymore because they're financially invested in you know, helping the person get healthy which is kind of an unusual concept, but they're having such a great result, they're telling other people. It's just a unique way of being um, compensated by a company. Best thing to do, try it yourself if you don't believe it. And then versus the competition, I just feel more comfortable going with our record of success and knowing that this company is built to last so that anytime in the future I can get servicing, I can get support, I can um, get the filters, um, I can be updated on any changes that I like that because you know what? I use it every single day. It's the most important technology in my life. My computer is probably second, but my Kangen water machine is number one, right? It's incredible. So my personal opinion, Kangen water is not a scam. But even with all this information, you might, you will find people who make rash emotional decisions. So this is not about logic. All the facts in the world is not going to help this person. We tend, being humans, to form an opinion not based on potential benefits, but rather potential pain or challenges. It's the human psychology seems to be very skeptical rather than being open to learn and try new things. Unfortunately, I think this has been brought into through us through our educational system, through TV, the media. We're constantly looking for things that are, you know, we're more interested in seeing a horror movie than like a Goodwill movie. Right, the, the, we've been programmed in a certain way, and so when people hear Kangen Water scam, they're going to run to that information because they're subconsciously they're looking for a reason to prove that they're going to get hurt and painful and to not do it. Right, you know, you have to fight that tendency to be open and um, objective and skeptical, but in, with a curious mind to move forward. Right? rather than being skeptical and shut down. So no matter how good a job you do of explaining all this, you're going to run into people that are running a fear mindset, that they've already made their decision after 30 seconds on the Internet because there's a bunch of people that told them it's bad for their health and it's a scam, and the distributor that's trying to help them is actually trying to rip them off. So it's not a logical decision. It's illogical. It's irrational. So for a new person, you know, checking this out, I say try it yourself. You know, your personal experience is always going to be the most effective. Don't take my word for it, you know, but try it yourself. That's why I bought a Kangen Water machine, because I tried it for 30 days and I thought the results were awesome. And I realized I couldn't go back to drinking the other water based on what I had known because I wasn't getting the same results. So new people, try it. For distributors, here's my suggestion. Don't take it personally when someone calls it a scam and aren't willing to look at the information. 
it's not worth getting acidic about and causing free radical damage by stressing yourself out trying to help this person. They've already made that decision because the mindset is somewhere else. I spent a lot of time trying to break through that and I realized it's not my job. You know, that person has already made decisions and they will continue to make decisions and generally those people um, have health issues or have financial issues because they're closed-minded rather than being open. So at the end of the day, Kangen Water, I love it. I don't think it's a scam at all. I think it's one of the best health products um, on the marketplace. And I 100% I endorse it and recommend it to all my friends, family, and everybody I meet. Right? Kangen Water scam or real. That's the controversy. And you, as a potential distributor, are going to come and you know, rub up against that day after day after day, and it comes on many different levels, but I think there's enough information here to allow you to sit confidently realizing, hey, you got a good thing, right? It's not gonna be for everybody. I think 90% of people on the planet would do really well drinking this water. The other 10%, it's just, it's not gonna be the ideal fit for them, you know? Anytime you can help 90% of people, that's pretty awesome, right? So focus on the benefits and really help people to see what we have. So at this point, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna invite um, the audience. If you've got some questions, pop on through. I've gone over the hour, um, so we might not have too much. Let's see um, in the box. And my buddy, Roger. Awesome job, buddy. Love this one. A definite saver to pass on to everybody. Thank you, Roger. That means a lot coming from you because a bunch of the stuff I learned directly from you and all your hard work. So, no questions. Fantastic webinar. Thanks, Marsha. And uh, Sunita has a question. Uh, how can I cater to sports, uh, sports club drinking water? How, how do so many people consume water simultaneously? How do so many people consume water simultaneously? How can we store or, or question? Not exactly sure your question there, but it seems like you want to um, target uh, professional sports athletes. Um, there's some great information, um, you know, that's available of Shan Stratton, Wade Lightheart. Um, you could show other clubs, you know, all the professional sports athletes that are already drinking this stuff and encourage them to, to give it a try. Right, you're not going to get endorsements, right? It's if you're heading towards like you know big clubs. There's a lot of money in sports, and it's not about advertising Kung and Water. I can tell you that it's, it's those other big you know electrolyte drinks that get it. So you have to navigate through the politics, not the health, the politics of the water industry in you know big sports clubs. So um, thanks, Marion. Great presentation. Um, Carl's got a question. Uh, hi, Creel. Uh, Michelle and I would like to know your best questions on how to best invite people to learn more about water. To simplify, help the person realize that this will improve their health without it getting overwhelming and technical. Great. We've already done um, webinars on this, uh, so please go to the Prosperity and Health Alliance uh, YouTube website and check through. There'll be something on, you know, inviting and asking questions where I'll have spent, you know, a whole webinar doing it. So rather than trying to squeeze that in now, that's the one you want to take a look at and give me feedback or and we have some questions after you watch that, I'll be happy to answer. Um, Sean, thank you. So I think that's it, everybody. Um, I kind of ran through the hour, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna wish you all a wonderful evening. I hope you got some great value from here. I hope this will also allow you to share with other people help educate your teams so that we can feel confident in what we have here, and maybe even be a valuable tool for somebody who um, is asking the question, like, I wanna learn more, why is this different? So with that said, uh, I wish you a wonderful evening. Uh, Wade Lightheart will be back on Monday night, and if you're in the Vancouver area, I am gonna be doing the um, business presentation tomorrow evening, Tuesday, um, at LN. So hope to see you there or your guests. Um, thanks everybody, have a great evening, bye-bye.